you know, in all of this, there's a beacon of light. Lighten up some motherfuckers on a Friday afternoon in H-Town. Let's do it. Get a job, you fuck. Brothers and sisters, welcome back to the channel. This is the fire breathing motherfucker coming back for a new video. You know, I had so much fun doing my Legion of Doom, I decided that this week we're gonna do my salute to evil. Yeah, thought we might hit 4,000 this weekend. We're getting really close, we're at about 3,972 views. So hopefully we'll be hitting the big 4,000 here soon. I believe in you. I believe in us. I believe in you. Thanks for watching the vids, subscribing to the channel, dropping some comments. Like I say it, man, I say it all the time, but it's always true. I appreciate every view. Thanks again. Anyways, real quick before I get into this list, today we're going to count down my top five favorite henchmen. Yeah. You know, a little bit of muscle. The guys that get shit done. Anyways, real quick. You know, me and Miss Fire, we watched the new Roadhouse this weekend. And honestly, eh, it was pretty forgettable. You know, the the thing that they, they did, in my opinion, is, you know, the first movie, you know, it had like a charm to it. You know, the Dalton guy was, you know, he drove like a Mercedes. He kind of dressed like a prep. He wasn't a real big guy. But, you know, when the... Hit the, that guy was ready to go. But yeah, no, the new movie, you know, they just, they, they, they gave him a backstory. I, you know, I, every, everything, they got to make everything have this hard, like hard edge now. And it, sometimes it just doesn't need it. I don't need the backstory. I don't need to know that uh, Dalton was some psycho MMA fighter that killed people just for the fuck of it, apparently. So anyways, yeah, totally, you know, like I say, it's one of those movies you watch and like 10 minutes later, you're like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember any of it, you know, he, he punched some people, he wore some weird shirts, that was about it. Anyways, that's my, another one of my quick movie reviews, like anybody gives a fuck, but you know, anyways, let's get on to this list. Salute to evil, my favorite henchman, number five, right here. Yeah, that guy was a badass, man. I like that, that, you know, he had that cool, high-pitched laugh. His name was Romero. Anyways, he was cool, man. They didn't give him a whole lot to do in that movie. But, you know, he had a cool look, you know, and a presence. I, I honestly, no, no disrespect to Isaac Hayes, but I was kind of, the first time I saw that movie, I thought he was the main bad guy, which would have been pretty cool. But anyways, number five. Number four. Guy, another guy in the control fucking punch right here. Yeah, Mr. French from The Departed. Yeah, that was a badass movie. He was a badass motherfucker, man. Kicking some people's ass. You know, getting shit done. I love that line when he's like, that guy didn't need his fucking teeth anyways. Fuck him. <laughs> Mr. French. Number three. You know, not a huge James Bond fan, but my favorite James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. This big, tall, bad motherfucker right here. Yeah, Jaws. The other Jaws. No, that guy was badass, man. Badass spy. He even came back in uh, Moonraker. It was pretty cool. Anyways, Jaws is number three on my henchman list. Number two, big surprise. This is my Italian confidential secretary. Her name is Alata. Alata for China. Yeah, number two decided to go with number two from the Austin Power movie. You know, guy didn't really kick a lot of ass, but you know, you gotta have that. You gotta have that number two guy. 
he was perfect, man. Number two, had the eye patch. You know, I got I like eye patches. <laughs> but, you know, who the fuck am I? Nobody. That's right. Number one, you know where I'm going here. Once again, if you watch any of my old shit, you probably know where I'm going with number one. We are both professional. This is personal. Yeah, Carl from Die Hard. Badass, man. That guy kicked so much ass. He was awesome. I'm going to put his name down here, man. Alexander Gudinov. He's actually, I think he was actually a famous ballet dancer. But man, you put a fucking machine gun in that guy's hand. You look the fuck out. That guy kicks some ass. Anyways, real quick short video today. Like I said, my top five henchmen. My salute to Evil Week. A little more coming. In the, in, the, in the next couple of days, I'll be dropping some more of my salute to Evil. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching the videos. If you want to subscribe, leave a comment. Whatever you want to do, I'm down. But thanks for being here, watching my vids. I seriously, I've seen, you know, I say it all the time, but I appreciate it, man. Speaking of which, you know, I'm going to leave, I'm going to end this video with a little bit of words of wisdom. You know, I, back in the day, uh, I had an uncle, Uncle Jim, you know, and he had his, let's just say he had his fair share of problems. So anyways, you know, I used to kind of, Talk to him, try to, you know, pump him up, give him, you know, give him some advice. And this is the advice that I gave to my Uncle Jim. And I'm going to pass it along to you people right now. Fire-breathing motherfucker. Later. Get a job, you fuck!